Hey there, it's Lori, the host of The Lori Clark Show. This podcast's purpose is to offer you life skills and tools. And I want to give those to you, and so do those who come on this show as a guest. Together, we want to create a conversation where you are feeling like your experience that you might be having in this world is seen and validated, and we are going to do that through sharing our our stories with you. It doesn't matter what the story is. It could be building a business. It could be how you got there, how you didn't get there. It could be about emotions or coaching or intellectual and academic things, or it could be a product. Whatever it is, we want to give it to you. The goal is to inspire and support you on your personal journey. And it's important to know that I am not a psychologist or a doctor and do not offer any medical or health advice on this show. Please seek help and advice from a qualified health professional or a medical doctor if you have any condition. And with that, let's begin. Welcome to the Lori Clark Show. I am the host, Lori Clark, and I am so thrilled that you are here. Now, today, I wanted to give you a window into some of the things that I'm thinking about. And you may like it, you may not. And to be really honest, I, I, I'm not really concerned about that. <laughs> I, uh, I have done some thinking. And I feel like before I jump into this particular conversation of what I've been thinking about, which is, who am I? Now, being someone that likes words and really picks up on tone, we could say this in a different way. Who am I? Or who am I? Or we could say, who am I? And I'm going to talk about all those things. But before I do, if you're new to this podcast, and maybe even if you aren't, I want to share a little piece of something with you. It is the honesty in which I am going to approach this podcast and how we begin this next half. And I mean this next half as in, this is how I'm going to do it for the rest of the time that I'm actually doing this podcast. So um, I've had a lot of time to think and really reflect on my positioning and where I am going and where I'm taking you. For those of you who follow me, for those of you who are wanting to listen to um, my show and are learning and um, growing from some of the things that you're hearing here, I think it's important to be honest and upfront about where I'm at so that you know exactly what you're get, what you're going to get every single time. I'm not sure if this is going to be my um, every day, every podcast um, introduction, but it is coming out today and we'll see if this one sticks or not. But I want to just quickly share with you my thoughts and my feelings on social media. <laughs> so I know that there is an algorithm. There is a way in which content gets delivered to people. And we all need to jump through a certain hoop in order to get that done. So if I want to be seen on Instagram, there is a lot of things that I have to do. One person said to me, well, you need to be posting, um, you know, four to six Instagram stories a day. You need to be posting every day to get into the algorithm. You need to be using um, Instagram's um, recording software so that you can record it on your phone and push it right through the Instagram app so it gets dispersed to the world and Instagram likes this and they honor it. And I'm happy for Instagram and I'm happy for Facebook that this is how they want people to do it. Um, but I'm not going to do it this way. And I think you need to know that. You need you deserve to know that I am not following this rule of how content is given. And if that sets me back and it stops me from growing, I'm okay with it. 
I'm really here to give you content. I'm giving, I'm here to give you um, inspiration from the things that I've learned in my life. And, and I know that the guests that come on want to give you the inspiration that they've learned so that you can live a better life. One of the things that dogs me, and it literally dogs me, I've done, a, I think it was episode 53 on um, my first episode on Shame Out Loud. I talked about one of my big fears and, and one of the things is putting myself out there. And after I did the show, I, I, I watched it back. I listened to it and I was like, yeah, this is, this is really me. But the one piece that I didn't add in there is what I want to say to you. So when I was talking about my fear of being seen and showing up in the world, that was one thing. And I've really worked through that. But there's something else here that I want to identify with you. And I want to talk to you about. So it's about feeling the pressure of what I have to do. So here I am making this video for you, making this podcast for you. And I have my structure and I have everything organized into how I want to connect with you on this particular topic of who am I? But when I begin to think about the next half of what has to happen in order for this content to get delivered, well, I start to worry. It actually feeds into this place of anxiety for me where I think, okay, but then I have to do this audiogram and then I have to do this quote and then I have to do this and I have to do that. And, and I have such a full day and I have another business that I, I work in and I don't have time and where am I going to have time to run the social media? And the other piece is this, how much is this going to cost me to hire a social media marketer? It's really interesting. I, I think about all these things as I create. And what I'm noticing is it's stopping me from creating. I'm a one woman show. I do all this on my own. And if that isn't enough, then that just isn't enough. I am not going to, um, well, actually, I don't want to say I'm not going to. Right now, I choose, I'm making the choice to step into who I am and be okay with who I am. And that means that I'm not going to follow the algorithm. I'm not following the way that whoever it is says it has to be in order to be seen. It's actually to my point. (laughs) I spent my whole life trying to figure out how to be seen and how to belong. And I finally found it. And now that I've found it, I also have to put the content out in a specific way in order to be valued, seen, and belong. And I just think that's a bunch of shit. And so I'm not going to do it. And that's okay. And I hope it's okay with you. Um, And if it isn't, well, guess what? I'm still going to put the content out. And if it doesn't resonate with you that when you come to my channel, uh, my Instagram feed or my Facebook feed, which is at the Lori Clark show, you get there and you see that I haven't made stories and I am, I'm not producing um, very many Instagram um, reels or Instagram posts. It is because um, it's just a personal choice. While I have my guests on the show, they come on and I honor them and I respect them and I put them on my website and I do feature guest pages where we um, we talk about who they are and what they put their life to. We ask them their favorite songs and we try to give you a glimpse into their world. But on Instagram, um, we're going to do what we're going to do. We're going to put out a quote. We're going to put out a story but it is not going to be an everyday thing. And the reason for that is because that's just the choice I'm making. Who I am needs to exist without pressure of having to do what everyone else is doing. That is not how I got here. 
It is not how I became who I become. My life has been really, really hard. And I was talking to my partner, Dave, just on the weekend. And I said, he said, you know, you, you've not ever conformed to most things. <laughs> I said, I know, I haven't really conformed. You're right. And I'm not going to begin to do that either. It isn't because I want to be, I want to prove a point. It's actually because it stresses me out. And I have not come this far to feel the insane weight of trying to do right by my life in giving you information, in supporting you on your life's journey. I want to talk about some incredible things, really, really hard things that are messy. One of those things is shame and how it shows up in our life. And shame says to me, who are you? Who are you to get yourself out there and to put content out there and to speak about your journey and your problems and how you've made it through? Who are you? And my self-doubt says, well, I thought I knew who I was five minutes ago when I did that, when I did that podcast, when I said that thing. In fact, as I'm recording this, I'm thinking backwards up to about three minutes ago when I said whatever I just said, and um, self-doubt is going, you're going to listen back on that, Lori, and you're going to cancel half of what you said so that you don't offend anybody. Do you see here how who am I plays into this narrative about everything we do? Self-doubt and shame and unprocessed pain and anger all comes up for us in different ways and in different aspects. There's nothing that we can really do about it because it is just a part of how we are made. And I look at that and I think, that's enough. That's hard enough. That is such a heavy and messy and massive thing to be working through oh, across our lives. What I don't need is to be under more pressure and the heaviest weight of saying, now I've got this beautiful little thing that I want to offer people and I got to flush it through this um, filter that is set up by people who want to tell us and you and me how to do our things. I'm not going to do it. I was doing some research because I've been panicking and full of anxiety about this, about marketing social media. And everybody's coming up and they're all putting their two cents in. And of course, everybody has their experience. These agencies and these marketing agencies and the social media agencies, they have value. And I'm not discounting that. I might get um, be a client one day, but right now I'm not. And the reason for that is I'm not paying somebody to push me through a filter that I'm not ready to go through. I'm just discovering who I am at 47 years old because I've just walked through a massive process of how shame has begun to unravel in my life. And I want to share it with you. And on top of that, I'm feeling the pressure of putting out the content in the exact way that people are telling me to do it. And what it's doing is it's making me not want to share because I'm seeing the gaps and I'm like, oh my God, I I don't have time to do that actually. I don't have time to grab my phone 
and start videoing myself six times a day, like, like this particular article suggested in order to let you in on my, the story of my life. This is the story of my life. This is me. And if you're looking for me to quickly hit the record button while I'm driving down the street, I'm not doing it because I'm actually driving and I'm being safe while I do that. (laughs) And I actually use my drive time to not think about all of this. I use my drive time to ask myself questions, to be curious about myself. I use the time when I'm walking to be curious, to ask myself, who the hell am I? Who was I before the world told me who I was supposed to be? Who was I yesterday and who am I today? And why am I struggling with this and why am I struggling with that? I use my time to not record so that you can see that I'm using my time to think about something. That's what I'm going to do right here in my desk, in my office, in my space. I'm inviting you in to the biggest, deepest, most painful part of my own soul. I think that's a good story. I think that's enough. Don't you? So yes, I, I, I want to do stories. I want to do Instagram stories and, and that'll happen. But it'll, but it'll happen as each show comes out. And that might put me out of the market for guests, for future guests who are listening to this going, well, she's not going to market us. So, well, we can talk about that because I'm always, um, it's not the point, actually. It's not the point. I know how to do this. And I'm responding to something that I'm actually encouraging all of you to respond to, which is listen to your soul. Listen to your spirit and the divine guidance that your purpose has for you on this earth. We will have a harder time figuring out our purpose if what fills us is the curiosity about other people's stories. Who, how, what are they doing today? What is she doing today? Oh, she's making that recipe. Oh, that's great. And No, I'm not going to deflect you that way. What I want to do is I want you to be curious. Absolutely. But be curious about you. I always find that when I look at other people's Instagram feeds, I, I get, I get this pit in my stomach because for God's sake, people, I do not have my shit together. I do not have my shit together. I, I don't, I don't know if I ever will. And my house can only be as clean as it can be. There's only certain things that I, I, I look at and I go, oh, I don't really feel like sharing with you, um, me in my jammies laying in my bed, having morning coffee. That's kind of sacred to me. I want to share with you these things that are going to inspire you that will drive you into greater thoughts about who you are and who we are doesn't need to be triggered by who someone else is. That's telling us a story that they want to tell us. I am telling you a story that I actually don't want to tell because it's vulnerable. It's messy. It's personal. It is raw. And it can be very polarizing because it's real. There's no fluff in this place. You're not going to find it here. So that's what I want to talk about. Who am I? I've been talking with my, my oldest daughter. I, I didn't check with her on this. I know she'd be okay with me saying this. Her name is Ireland and 
and um, she's 24 and she's on a really cool life journey and we share a lot together. And um, I was talking to her the other day about struggling with who I am. If you've listened to episode 53, and if you've listened to any subsequent, like previous um, episodes, you'll hear pieces of me where I talk a little bit about myself. And when I do that, it's because um, I am sharing the little pieces with whoever the guest is. But what I'm really discovering now is that part of what I want to give you is the process in which I have begun a really important part of my journey, this spiritual aspect. And so Arlen and I have been sharing about that with one another. And I said to her, you know, one of the biggest issues I'm having right now, and perhaps you can relate to this, one of the biggest issues I'm having right now is I am waking up in the morning and forgetting who I am. <laughs> and I'm like, it's so weird. I, I wake up and I kind of forget. And so I've been doing this thing where I go into the washroom, into my bathroom, and it's I got a big, big mirror. And after I brush my teeth, which is um, something that, you know, it's just that it's a system and you're going to get this in a second. I brush my teeth and then I look in the mirror and I put my hand on the mirror. So it looks like this. And if you're just listening to the podcast, maybe you want to jump over to my YouTube page and watch this video because it's going to be on there. But I do this and I look at myself in the mirror and I say, how do I want to love you today? How can I show up for you today? And when I put my hand on the mirror, the reflection, it looks like I'm cupping my face. And it's this moment of tenderness and kindness. It's a moment of compassion. It's a moment where I'm reminding myself of who I am. It isn't yesterday's pain. I might have had an argument with someone. I might have, you know, had a really bad day. I might have been exhausted. I might not have done all the things I need to do in a day. And I feel weighted down by that. When I wake up in the morning, I would say 10 out of 10 times, I am carrying the remnant of what I didn't do, some of the ways I failed. Maybe I heard something and I don't know how to integrate it. And I'm all mad at myself. And I carry that in to the next day, to that moment. When I get to start my next day, however I want to start it, so many times I don't. I look at myself and I go, oh, you're so brutal, Lori. You absolutely missed the mark. It might be an issue that I've had with someone where I just go, how come they can't see me? Or they misheard me. Or I'm feeling so weighed down by the pressure of my schedule or for, for most of my life, I just feel like frustrated that I am not able to say what I need to say. If you continue to listen to the new series, Shame Out Loud, you will learn some of the reasons why I am afraid to say what I need to say. That's not for here right now, though. That's for later. So who am I? Well, if you're starting your morning 
fe- feeling drug down and hit already by the time you get out of your bed, then this might be something for you. Because the person that I'm looking at, and even as I record this on video, I'm looking at myself in the video and I'm thinking, that woman, she, she's the real deal. She's she's the one that I aspire to be every day. But that's not what I see. And that's not what I have seen when I looked in the mirror in the past. I look in the mirror and I go, oh, look it. You've got 11s right between your eyebrows. Those will never go away. You really should figure that out. You got wrinkles. (sighs) You have swollen eyes. (laughs) Your symmetry's off. I look at all those things. That's how I start my day. Talking about my body. Reminding myself that I am actually not really measuring up. And not only do I remind myself about those things, like the physical attributes, but then I then quickly, you know, quite quickly after move to all of the, the, uh, emotional things or the job related things that I'm just not doing. And that's not living in the present moment and it is not embracing who I am. And so I've decided, I've made the choice and there I am in the mirror holding my face saying, how can I show up for you today? How can I be here for you? The woman who is beautiful, who in those good moments, I see that intention. How can I show up for you? Every day we get to start a new day. And it's that softness. It's in some ways, it's treating myself the way I've wanted to be treated all my life in this loving, kind, respectful, soft, compassionate way. That was not how I lived my life. It was not what was given to me in my life. It is not the story. The story is hard. It's tough. It's rough. It's, it's, it's um, heavy. It's weighty. And that's not how I wanted to be treated. What I wanted to be is held. And in this moment and in this time, who am I? I just want to be held. I just want to be wrapped in love. And I just want to be able to offer you, who wherever you are in the world, the gift of knowing that if you feel the same as me, guess what? There's one other person other than you that feels the same. When we begin, and I'm going to look at my notes here, so so just that's why my focus is getting taken off of you. So sometimes I think the other part of who am I is when I think about, you know, my other family members or my, my, my mom and my biological dad who don't have or didn't have the opportunity like this that I have right now. It might be my aunt or my, my grandmother who's passed, or it might be my uncle or my cousin or my, my brother, my sister, whatever. But the question I always ask is, well, who are you? Who am I to do this? How come they don't get to do this? And the question is, that's the question. And the answer back is, well, who are you not? Because this choice is free to connect to the power of who you are. It is free. It doesn't cost you anything. 
And so all you need to begin exploring the three words, who am I? All you need to do is become curious. So in episode 53, I I was talking about Shame Out Loud, um, the first episode um, of that series. And I basically, you know, I shared the beginning conflict. And the core conflict was that I, I really was afraid of being seen, right? And in the next episodes that are a part of this series, we are going to explore shame in many, 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 many different ways. It's not just that heaviness. We're going to explore lineage. We're going to explore um, intuitive healing. We are going to crack this thing open and really begin. And so for some of you, um, and not just some of you, some people have actually said to me, I do not understand shame in my life. I know I have it, I just don't know what it feels like or what it looks like. And so I want to offer that to you today in respect to saying, who am I? Well, who are you not? So now begin to offer yourself this piece that maybe would, I would like to say it's a bit of homework. Okay. So to become curious about who you are. And who you are not. When we ask ourselves that question, lots of times for years, I would just be like, well, I'm not this. Like, I already told you who I wasn't, right? I told you in the beginning of this video and podcast, I said, well, here's what I'm not. I'm not going to be the person that jumps through the hoops for social media. I'm just not. And you know what? Now that I'm even thinking about it further as I speak, yeah, that is really who I'm not. And I know that in the core of my being, it doesn't mean that I'm going to break rules kind of is a rule breaking thing though, even like, because I'm not following the, um, the way everybody's doing it. The consequence of that, that remains to be seen. Um, but guess what? I don't care. I don't care because who I am is more important than who I'm not. And the reason why I can say that now is because I became curious about that. And so when you become curious, you're going to ask yourself this question. You're going to say, and you might, you won't want to get a piece of paper, piece of paper and a pen. And you might want to say, okay, what is blocking me from being who I am? That's just curious because you might've heard someone say, well, um, I can't let that part of me go. I, there's a part of me that wants to, but I just can't, or they hurt me. And it's like a piece of me died. Um, you might say that experience after having that experience, a part of me just went numb. And I want to say that if you can kind of feel those words a little bit and become curious about those particular um, cues, then this is a good thing. This is a really good thing. And let's just say you can't identify with any of those things. Then you just need to be curious and write down on a piece of paper, what am I? Who am I and what am I not? And your what I'm not will show you some of the places. Where am I unwilling? Where am I blocked? Where do I feel free? And then think about emotions. What emotions am I free to feel and what emotions am I free not to feel? Because that will be another indicator. What am I, what do I feel free to say? What do I feel free to not say? That'll be another indicator. So the point of what we're doing here is we're allowing awareness to come up in us through our cognitive thinking. We are not feeling right now. 
Because, because as it pertains to who I am, and for many of us, there's a feeling of disconnection or there's a numbness or there's a shame. There's something that's connected to it that is blocking us from being who we really are. So what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to use our, our, our thinking brain to write down our thoughts. And that's all we're doing. We're just being curious. So who are you? And a part of you might be, like I said, numb or disconnected. And you just need to know we can work with that. There's hope for the disconnection. And just even say, yes, I'm disconnected. Write it down. Hope is not lost. Because this is the step of curiosity that will lead you to the parts of who you are that are blocked. And so if you go, oh, there's nothing blocked about me. And then you see someone that you know and you go, oh, I can't stand them. That's it. Right there. Then you go, oh my gosh, I can't stand that. Or you do what I did and how I let out this thing. I am so overwhelmed and anxious about this social media and I've spent so much time thinking about how I'm going to pr- produce it. How am I going to put it out there? How am I, how am I, how am I, how am I, how am I going to do all this? That I actually move off of creating content. I'm done. I'm creating content. This is what I'm doing. You're going to get posts when you get them and you're not going to get them every day. Don't come to my channel then. But that's how it's going to go. Who am I? I figured that out now. But the difference is when I became curious about it, Go and listen to episode 53 because I had to become curious. I had to ask myself some questions. And there's some questions in that episode that you, at the end, that you'll, you can um, look at and ask yourself. And as I became curious about those things, well, then I started dipping into this stuff. Okay, right. So yes, I shared that I had some fears, but now are those fears valid? And why are they still there for me? Right, because the fear is gone. I've been able to transform that and grow from it and listen and learn from the lesson. But now really the core of me, I now know who I am and I'm able to build a boundary. I'm able to build a structure out of that that says, okay, this is what I'm willing to do and this is what I'm not willing to do. And I had to become curious in order to do that. And so as we move down this line, I'm I'm excited. I'm having a conversation um, this week um, about shame in the body. I'm like, I'm freaking out because I'm super excited about this because shame sits in our body and it holds itself there. And we get the privilege of being curious about it. And this guest, Eileen, is going to walk us through this and show us how to begin to connect to our bodies in ways when, where we were disconnected and get to the, who am I come back into ourselves because you know what? Let's face it. Trauma or no trauma. When experiences happen, sometimes we disconnect from ourselves. And this question, who am I? And knowing who you are and what you want and what you don't want, and then being able to stand in your power in it. That is going to help you in this life. And so how you do it is you become curious. And then you begin to see the parts of you that are holding you back. You're able to be compassionate with those parts. You're able to recognize that, you know what? This universe, God, or whatever the higher power that you are connected to, is supporting you on your healing journey and is supporting you in your growth and development. And so we get to welcome ourselves back into the presence of our bodies where we were numb, where we were um, a part of us. We just couldn't go there Um, when we said we couldn't let that part go. We're going back there. 
And it's going to be personal for everyone, unique for everyone. But just know that you are worthy of the inner freedom. You are worthy of freedom. You are worthy of worthiness. You are worthy to ask yourself, who am I? And you're you're worthy to ask yourself, who am I? You're worthy to ask yourself, who the hell am I? In whatever way that tone is, however it comes to you, be curious and let's explore some of the parts that we have lost along the way. I told you that in my previous episode that this is gentle. This isn't this shaking a tree to try to get fruit and whatever to come out. No, no, no. This is just, hey, let's be soft. Let's be gentle. Let's be curious. That's how we begin to explore who we are. Thank you for this time together and um, I appreciate you. Have a fabulous day.